Welcome, my friend. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I prepared for my Duolingo English exam in just 7 days and got 130 out of 160. If you are planning to take the Duolingo English exam, then this video is definitely for you. Here are the 5 things that you can take home from this video. If you're looking for all of this information and more, then keep on watching this video. Let's get started. Firstly, the Duolingo English test is easier, cheaper, and faster compared to other language proficiency exams. It's also more convenient as you can take the exam anytime and the results are delivered within 48 hours. Additionally, you can buy the exam online for either $59 or $98 for two exam and take the test online within 21 days. Finally, the certificate you receive can be sent directly to your university, saving you time and hassle. Once you've decided to take the Duolingo English test, it's important to prepare well in advance to achieve the best possible result. Here are some tips that I found helpful when I was preparing for my exam. Firstly, increase your typing speed and practice typing without looking at your keyboard. The exam is time-limited and it's important to make the most of the short period given. Next, get to know the types of questions by doing the practice test. Bear in mind that the exam will be harder than the practice. For the picture description and verbal response questions, you can use a template to make longer sentences and avoid getting stuck halfway through your answer. It's also a good idea to film yourself answering the verbal response questions with your phone and get familiar with talking while looking into the camera. Remember to fully utilize the two minutes given for each question and speak until the time is up. There is no need to use a lot of complicated words, just use simple words that can express your thought. For the English vocabulary related questions, only choose the words that you're sure are correct. For the paragraph reading and sentence selection questions, take your time and read carefully to avoid nervousness during the exam. A new type of question have been added into the exam, which is interactive listening and speaking sample will be scored from May 2023. Please note that you will need to remember the detail of conversation to be able to summarize them in short essay. For the writing small essays question, use a template to structure your answer. Start with repeating the question using a different context. Express your opinion with two to three supporting points and then repeat your choice of answer. If you are interested in details on how to answer each type of the question, please comment and let me know. I will make a video to elaborate on this. Lastly, as a wide range of topic could be tested in the exam, it is better for us to get familiarized with some common topic that is frequently tested. I will share my notion notes with you in the description below. These topics include travel, vacation, famous people, people around you, environmental topics, culture, historical figures, social media, technology, and animals. And don't forget to try ChatGPT with the past questions listed in my notes. This will help you to practice your English skills in a fun and interactive way. Now let's talk about the do and don't for the Duolingo English exam. If you fail to follow any of this, high chance that we will see you in the next exam. Must be alone in a quiet, well-lit room. Clear the room for at least one hour and let your family or roommate know not to interrupt you during the test. Ears must be visible and uncovered. Face must be visible and unobscured. No mask. Tie your long hair to show your ears. No headphones or earphones. No outside materials including mobile devices, notes, or textbooks. Remove unnecessary objects from your desk. No copying or memorizing responses from other sources. No communication with anyone else. No writing utensils or paper. Do not look away from the screen. Do not look around during the exam or look suspicious. Do not leave the test window for any reason. Do not use any predictive input method or grammar slash spelling checkers. Do not use any third-party web camera software. Disconnect a second monitor and close any software that enables screen sharing or remote access. Type on only one keyboard and use only one mouse. 
Speak for at least 30 seconds on the topics presented during the graded speaking section. Do not use another person's name or ID information to take the test. Make sure your laptop webcam, speaker, and microphone are working fine. You can test it with Discord or with your friend or family. Lastly, prepare your passport or driving license for verification purposes. Now that we've covered some do and don't for the Duolingo English test, let's move on to some tips for during the actual exam. Firstly, for the writing section, the number of words you write is important. Try to write as many words as possible as it will show the examiner that you have a good command of the language. A good target to aim for is around 110 words. For the speaking section, it's important to speak clearly and loudly so that the examiner can hear you properly. Talk at a higher tone and try to act more enthusiastic. This will make your speaking sound more engaging and interesting. Finally, filling in the blanks with words can be quite challenging depending on the topic. If you find yourself struggling with a question, try not to give up or get too caught up in overthinking it. Stay focused and move on to the next question, as each question carries the same weight in the exam. Remember, the key to success in the Duolingo English test is to stay calm, focused, and confident throughout the entire exam. You will receive your test result within 48 hours after taking the exam. So make sure to check your email or Duolingo website regularly. Also, if you are interested in learning more about English language and improving your skills, I highly recommend checking out two channels that I personally follow. On Bilibili, there's a channel called Pao Ji Lao Shi. And on YouTube, there's Oxford Online English. I will share the link in description. Finally, thank you for watching this video. And if you want to see more videos from me, click here to check out my latest one. Or subscribe to my channel. I'll be sharing more about bullet journaling, design, code, and some cool experiences from my life that could help you in yours. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who are also preparing for the Duolingo English test. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.